Hello everybody! This video is about recovering a video file accidentally deleted from a hard disk, USB drive or a memory card. We'll talk about various methods of recovering files from a digital camera or dashboard camera and see what can be done if a video file was deleted from an Android device. It is no secret that when you delete a file from the hard disk of your computer or laptop, they are moved to the recycle bin automatically. It gives you a good chance to recover such files if you realize that the file was deleted by mistake. If you deleted a video from your computer or laptop and then realized it was a mistake, the first thing to do is to check the recycle bin. It can be there. To recover a deleted file from the recycle bin, right-click on it and select Restore. As a result, it will return to the location from which you have deleted it before. Yet remember that if the deleted file is larger than the maximal size you have set for the recycle bin, it is deleted permanently instead of being moved to the bin. So, be careful to read system notifications when you delete a file. In our blog, there is a very detailed article about viewing, restoring or deleting permanently the files sent to the recycle bin. You will find the link in the description. This is true when we are talking about a computer or laptop and some files deleted to the recycle bin. But what should you do if a video was removed from a computer without using the recycle bin, or the recycle bin was emptied after deleting a file? A video was removed accidentally right from the digital camera. A memory card was formatted by mistake while it was inside the camera. The data in the memory card is damaged, for example, due to a failure or because of wrong injection, and so on. Suppose you have deleted a video file or cleaned the memory card inside your camera by mistake. When you connect it to your computer, you don't find any files and that is natural. What if it was a video you made for someone else, or well, this video was the result of many hours of work? In this case, install and launch Hetman Partition Recovery. I will leave the download link in the description. The program will scan your computer automatically and display all hard disks and removable drives, physical and local disks connected to this PC. Find the storage device from which you need to recover the video file. Click on it and select the analysis type. You can start with fast scan. It is very quick and it saves the directory structure, the way how folders and files are arranged. Wait until the scanning process is complete. As a result, the program will show all video files you can recover. The red cross indicates the ones which have been deleted. You can use the preview window to watch the contents of the video you can recover. Drag the necessary files to the recover list and click on the recovery button. Choose the saving method and the corresponding folder and click recovery again. That's all, the lost video has been restored. If for some reason the program didn't find the deleted video in the scanned disk or memory card, click on Content Aware Analysis. As a result, the program will analyze the selected disk more thoroughly. It will search the disk for deleted video files by their signatures, that is, by their contents. This process is more complicated and much longer than fast scan. That is why it will take more time. Wait until the process is over. If your videos were lost after formatting a memory card or after a memory card failure rather than after you deleted them, this method will be more effective. In the same way, you can recover a video deleted from the hard disk or of a computer or laptop, removed after emptying the recycle bin or deleting the file without using the bin. In this case, you should use the program to scan the hard disk. Recovering a video from a digital camera or dashboard camera well, essentially, there is very little difference between dashboard cameras used by so many drivers and ordinary digital cameras, so I united the two types of devices into one part of this video. However, you can recover data from them in the same way that I described a minute ago. 
Just connect the camera, video recorder or the memory card to the computer and recover video files with a specialized program. By the way, there is a special article in our blog about recovering data from a dashboard camera. Action cameras also have certain peculiarities when it comes to recovering photos and videos. Read another article about it by following the link in the description. Recovering a video from an Android device Well, the simplest way of, of restoring photos and videos deleted from an Android device, in case they were stored on a memory card, is like this. Take the memory card out of your gadget and connect it to a computer or a laptop using a card reader. In some cases, you can use a smartphone or tablet connected with a cable as a device to work with a memory card, but remember that data recovery software does not always see a memory card connected to the computer in such a way, and there are certain reasons why. After the memory card is displayed in this PC folder, run Hetman Partition Recovery. Follow the recovery procedure I have already described in this video, that is, scan it with Hetman Partition Recovery. And after that, recover the files. If you need to recover photos or videos from internal memory of an Android device, it's a challenging task. Recovering photos or videos from internal memory of a smartphone will require Android super user rights or root rights, as well as developers' tools required to enable USB debugging. In our channel, we have a very detailed video on this topic. You will find the link in the description. Of course, these are only a few ways to recover video files. Much depends on the particular device and media, as well as on the causes of why data was lost. If you have any questions about restoring deleted or lost videos, you are always welcome to leave a comment and ask one. And that is all for now. Hit the like button below and subscribe to Hatma Software channel if you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and good luck!